so good to see you. You too. You too. Thanks. Yeah, how are you enjoying Seoul so far? I mean, what we've seen of it has been great. Mm -hmm. uh, we had an incredible welcome at the airport. There mm -hmm. were hundreds of people waiting for us at four in the morning when we landed, and that was really um, so lovely. Great surprise. Woke me up. You know, I feel like the Korean people have been so warm and genuine and welcoming and uh, I wish we could be here longer. Yeah, you should. I know. So we'll come why back. Don't, why don't you say hello to picky people since this program is called Picky Cast. Picky people. Picky people. Your fans. Hey, picky people. Hey, guys. How's it going? Thanks for approach, having right? us. Yeah. Can you please introduce your characters? Sure. Uh, my name is Zachary Quinto. I play Commander Spock. Um, who is the second in command on the Starship Enterprise, and uh, yeah, one of the most iconic characters in of popular culture. Chris? Which camera am I talking to? Hey there, my name is uh, Chris Pine. I play Captain James Tiberius Kirk. I'm the c uh, captain of the Enterprise in Star Trek. Uh, made famous by a gentleman named William Shatner many years ago. It's been around for a long time, 50 years, and in our latest uh, installment, this is the 50th anniversary of Star Trek, and uh, many terrible things are happening to the Federation, which is the kind of the, the confab of all the good guys in the universe. And Idris Elba, who's a fantastic actor, plays a guy named Paul, who's coming after us in a, in a big, bad way. This isn't your first time to Korea, right? I was here uh, one once before. Yeah. Were you here for the other seven track? or eight yeah, years ago for the first Star Trek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, any tips to Zach on how to enjoy Seoul? I've said this before. Unfortunately, uh, you know, when we do these things, it's we don't get much time to enjoy oh, the cities we come so to. You should hang out Thank with you. me. I'm, a, I'm so an it. awesome girl, guide. Done deal. All right. <laughs> Talk to my bosses. Yeah, and Zach, um, if you were the captain of Enterprise, would you have done anything different than what <laughs> Kirk I mean, did? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> it is the worst crisis access. ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Whoa. Yeah. yeah uh, no, you know, I feel like uh, Captain Kirk makes some, some pretty... Tough decisions, yeah. and uh, his, uh, his first officer, I feel like. Yeah. I, 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 I got a solo <laughs> guy, I went home. Yo. Hey, well, I don't agree with well, him all the time. Yeah. 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 Gotta go with it, you know what all I mean? All right. So, okay, this one quick question. Who would you save first, Kirk or Yuhula? Who would I save first? Mm -hmm. For what? Ooh, who would I save first, Kirk Yuhula or Yuhula? Or Kirk. Oh, man, that's tough, Soy. I, know, I, I know. can't save them both? No, you can't. Soy? Yup. I give out uh, I mean, hard I questions. Have to, I have to, I have to, I have to save Uhura. I'm oh. sorry. I mean, oh. You know what I mean? How could you do that to well, Kirk? Well, because also <laughs> if Kirk is gone, yeah. then I would inherit the ship. So oh. I've, I'd get like a promotion. Smart. You know what I mean? And I'd... Go spot. He's very wily, <laughs> this young spot. <laughs> All right. He's learning fast, the I grasshopper. Mean, the series, I mean, especially in this film, <laughs> there are some awesome gadgets like, you know, of course, um, Nextel, a phaser gun, telephones. warp, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. protoplaser. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? What the hell is a protoplaser? You know, the, you know, the, the thing. The, thing the, 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 the violin? Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the violin. <laughs> <laughs> no, that thing that, you know, um, cures your body yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. in an instant. Um, I think the warp. Machine is probably really yeah. where you want to go. No, no, no. Well, we've talked anywhere. about this. It's the the uh, the transport. The, the transport. That's what you just called it. Warp. Oh, the warp. I meant the transport. Yeah, yeah, warp. Yeah, the transport. No, no, no. Warp, warp is, is how you go fast when you, the ship mind. goes fast. And yeah. transporting oh is when you beam yes, to another transport. place. I would transport uh, to Bora Bora. <laughs> Bora Bora. Yeah. Why? Where? Well, because I mean, it's Bora Bora. because it's Bora Bora, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Where would you go to if you could transport anywhere? Florianopolis, Brazil. And uh, any particular reason? Oh, many. <laughs> Who? I'm just oh, God, kidding. I don't know. <laughs> you have beautiful eyes, Chris. Oh, thank you. Oh, you know thank what? You. Oh, him or me? Both. Oh, Both. No, you were talking to him. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> no, uh, personally, I like Zach's eyes better. Thank but you. in Korea, a lot of people love your eyes. They have a nickname for you. What is the that story? The mystic creature of bulbous oculi. That's exactly what my mother calls me. Yeah, um, right? The elf so of the weird. eyeballs. <laughs> sounds very flattering. So weird. <laughs> the creature of bulbous oculi? Yeah. yeah. You know, the, 
the um, elf of eyeballs. Nunal yeah. Yojong. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, because right. you have beautiful What's eyes. What's my nickname here? Yeah. Soy's favorite. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. Let's bring it back to elves of eyeballs. What, yeah, elf. what does that mean, elf of eyeballs? It means eyeballs. that you have the eyeballs of, of an, an elf. elf. That's so That's beautiful. Very cute. You like it? I like it. I think elves are cute. Yeah. Okay. Oh, See? like that. Look at that. Yeah, that's what elves do. We turned off the lights for you, Chris. <laughs> Your little elven creatures of the glorious Oculi. <laughs> we have Bulbous. done it. Bulbous <laughs> Oculi. <laughs> elves running across. Come back to me, elves. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh yay. Thank Thanks, you. elves. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, elves. We All have right. your back. Zach, as I said earlier in the interview, you have beautiful fashion style. I mean, oh. it's flawless. Oh. I mean, Thanks. you don't have a stylist, right? Tip top. Uh, you no. Know, stop. Don't have a stylist. No. What do you think of um, Chris's outfit today? Well, Chris is, Chris is really going for comfort this afternoon. I think so, too. Um, which I respect, I admire, and I almost did the same, but then I didn't want to to both look slouchy. Um, you don't look slouchy, I'm that's right. right. <laughs> um, you know, we, we, uh, we enjoy, uh, like, you know, these tours give us an opportunity to kind of dress up a little bit, so I think that's always fun. Um, I think Chris is a, is a dapper guy. Thanks, man. Yeah, totally. What do you think about my outfit? I told you we already I talked in. about this, Soy. We love, love your shoes. We beautiful. love your top. I love yeah. being complimented. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. It's a good contrast of you know glitz and Ooh. glamour and little high heels. Yeah, little Killer uh, heels. Nothing wrong Vixen, vixen at the wow. ankle. Nicely done. Thank you, Chris. You're ha you have a big appetite. What would you like to try while you're here in Korea? My treat. Uh, we just had our second helping of, um, uh, what is it, uh, boom bap? Bibimbap. Bibimbap. Ah. Bibimbap. Which is Bibimbap. Awesome. Bibimbap. Mm. Really I was told originally not to put the, the hot kind of soup into it, uh -huh. but I like to you do that. did that? So I did that, and then I threw all the kimchi in it. That is the literal meaning of bibimbap, because it means that you you, you mix everything oh. together. Someone you did it. Someone told me not to put the soup in it, but that made it all the jam. That yeah, was great. Yeah, you are a true Korean now. Well, Congratulations. yeah, thank you. John chose it, so. <laughs> okay, both of you, favorite scene in this film? Um, uh, to to that we're in or just the, like in general. Star Trek Beyond. Right. Okay. So the whole movie. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like. Uh, I just you know I don't know it's hard. I like the action sequences. I really like when uh, when when um, when Kirk and Chekhov are fleeing oh, down yeah. the the um, you know the, uh, the saucer the saucer of the Enterprise just before it flips over. You know it's already been destroyed and then it has a second life, and awesome. uh, I thought that, that that sequence was pretty breathtaking for me. Um, I really like all the scenes between Spock and Bones. I, I think mm -hmm. this is, uh, I've always kind of wanted to see more of what Carl can do with Bones in the first um, kind of five minutes where you get the sense of what it's like to be on this ship for like three years. They're, these guys are off in space, and. They're not always fighting bad guys, and I thought that that was a great idea to, to show the, um, you know, that part of life on the Enterprise. Oh, and um, I would like to ask you about this particular scene, the bike scene. I mean, like, I just loved that scene in the movie. Yeah, that's yeah, cool, amazing. isn't it? Yeah, a lot yeah. of tons of action. I mean, Justin action. Lin, I mean, he did Fast and Furious, so yeah. obviously he's really yeah. good with the Fast and Furious. Yeah, I mean, that was all practical. All that right. was all practical, and there was, you know, there were no green screens in that, and mm -hmm. that was all... Um, I did a lot of it, and then I had two incredible stunt guys that did most of the, the crazy high wire uh, uh, biking. One guy in particular was a Canadian, is a Canadian um, motocross motocross champion. Oh, um, awesome. So I had a lot of really skilled technicians helping me out. All right, we've got a gift for you, actually. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I mean. What is it? <laughs> something very, very special. You oh, should. A candle. It. Are we going to open it on camera? Yeah, we, you guys. Do we have to open it I together because it's the like same thing? Like a few years ago, there was this huge meteorite fall in Korea. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you ruined the surprise! <laughs> I'm you sorry. You surprised me. 
no, that was fun. That was fun. Soy it's candle. a soy candle, of course. And I almost vomited like, up all of my bum bap. I, it's not really. <laughs> that, that went it's a little Stephen farther Bob. than I expected it to. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are so cute. I didn't Come mean for on. it to be that dramatic. Sorry. Scared the <laughs> crap out of me. Yeah, it's a soy candle. It smells really good. Does, Is that how you does. smell? Yeah. Oh, hmm. It smells really good, soy. Yeah. Thank you. So you guys. Think wow. of me whenever you like that nice. candle. That's nice. on my desk in my office. Yeah, that little girl from Korea. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Just looks like a little mini it soy does. grenade. Please say goodbye to your picky people fans out there. Picky people. Picky people. Thank you so much. August 18th at a theater near you. Check it out. Star Trek, Star Trek Beyond. Beyond. Live long and prosper. <laughs>